this is everything that Be Quiet has to offer when it comes to PC components, and today we're going to be building the ultimate Be Quiet PC. This is the Silent Base 802 in white. This case is insane. I'll talk about it a little bit more here in a bit. We have the Pure Loop 360 AIO. This AIO is known for keeping CPUs really, really cool. And we have a Pure Power FM. <clears throat> I can't even talk. We have a Pure Power 11 FM 1000 watt power supply provided to us by Be Quiet and seven of the Shadow Wings 2 white edition uh, fans. This PC build is going to be completely white. Everything is white except the AIO tubes, but we're going to be putting some fans on the AIO to make it look more whitish because they do not offer this AIO in white, only in black. But before we get started with this video, I'd like to thank you, Be Quiet, for sending all these products for us to build this PC. I'm super, super excited for you guys because this is a really huge milestone for this YouTube channel. Uh, you know, we're actually getting more into PC products parts now and this is one of the first full collaborations with a PC brand to build a whole PC that is from their components. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to introduce you guys to this case. This is the Silent Base 802. This case costs $200, but I think it's worth every dollar of those because of how many things this case can offer. I'm going to show you some of the things this case can do and then we're going to start building inside of it. Okay, so this case is pretty big like in size. It's double the size of my current case, uh, which if you don't have a lot of space, keep that in mind. When it comes to being flexible, this case is like the definition of it. In the front right here, here you have a front panel that is solid that you can just remove by popping it up like this mesh that that is oh gosh I almost broke it and under the front panel there's a mesh that you can just pop out like this and clean it making it super super easy to clean your panel like that and for the front panel you get another extra piece with it I haven't opened this yet because I didn't know what it's in here but you get a fully mesh front panel so if you do not want the solid case you can take the one that they give you out and put a mesh one completely out in the front so if you do not want the solid front there you have it you'll have better airflow and uh i think it looks better i like the personally the you know the mesh look in the front and it has also hexagon pattern under the mesh so it's kind of cool looking from the front it looks like a honeybean comb style or whatever it's called under the front panel you actually get two 140 millimeter fans in the front and one actually in the back right here all included in the same price you don't have to pay anything back to the front panel something crazy you can actually mount up to 420 millimeter radiator on the front this pc case would be perfect for building a custom loop but moving to the top the top is also modular you can remove the current panels that come with it like this it also comes with an extra mesh that you can put at the top so if you want better airflow as well you just grab this mesh top right here that comes with it and uh, just slap it on and there you go and now you have a mesh top and mesh front and you can have better airflow if that's what you're about and on the top right here you can actually mount a 360 millimeter aio or 240 whatever you want in the back right here where the current fan is the 140 you can mount another radiator you can mount up to three radiators 420 360 and 140 in the back which is pretty insane really on the aio at the top right here you actually get a ton of stuff you get a, a fan control from the front here so you can change the speed of the fans presets to one, two, three, and then so basically lower to higher, and then you have USB-C, uh, a microphone jack, a headphone jack, and a power button, obviously reset, and you get two USB ports at the front. These are 3.2 gen uh, USB, which is really, really nice. You get a lot of ports at the top, which is super nice. One thing that I really like about this case, guys, is the way you can remove the side panel and the back panel. All you have to do, there's a button right here, you just press it, and the thing just comes off and lifts, and that's it, and you're done. Side panel is gone, and then same thing with the back. You just press it and up, and there you go. Gone as well. This is one thing I really like about this case. You can move the front and the back super, super easy. Talking about the case in the front right here, this whole area right here, you can actually invert. This case allows you to invert this whole case. And I'll link that video down below in the description so you guys can check out how to invert this case if you're if that's something you're about. Uh, but overall, the inside looks really, really clean. I like that it's all white and there's not like a lot of black. That is something that is, you know, really nice. Let me show you guys in the back real quick. In the back right here, you actually have like slots for the drives. You can put a lot of drives in this PC and then you have routing right here. There's not really like clear tubes for it. There's enough space to make the routing really easy. And you get a fan controller right here that can connect up to six fans to it, which is pretty nice. So, you know, you don't have to buy it an extra uh, fan hub. On the bottom, you get a ton of space where you can fit your pa power supply. You get an SSD mount right here, a couple more right here. So there's just tons of stuff that come with this case. And on the bottom, you actually get another mesh that you can take out. You do not have to worry about dust collecting inside of the case. Tons of airflow, really easy to clean. Uh, very big case, obviously, so keep that in mind. So without further ado, now that we're done with the case, I'm gonna bring my old PC right here. We're gonna take it apart and start building in this new case. Okay, guys, so first thing, we actually gotta turn off my PC and take it over there. But I wanted to give you an idea of how loud my PC is. This is no filters added. I'm not trying to reduce any of the noise. Can you hear how loud it is while I'm trying to talk? Look at this. I'm gonna even put the microphone a little bit closer. Ugh. 
So you can see how big this case is compared to my current PC. It's like double the size, which is crazy. What I'm gonna do actually, I'm gonna leave all the fans and the IEO plugged in. I'm just gonna remove the motherboard out because I'll, I'll do all that later on. But all we need to do is remove the motherboard. I'm gonna even keep the power supply in here because I got a new one. So start by removing the graphic cards. Bum, 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 bum. I'm trying to find a screwdriver. There we go. Graphic cards out, almost hit it on the way out. Put it somewhere safe because it is so pretty. Let's start disconnecting crap, I guess. Keep this in here. My goal is just to put this case the way it was before. I don't wanna I don't wanna lose any screws or anything. That way I if I sell it, give it away, do something with it, <clears throat> you know. I think maybe it's best if I like actually bring the camera in here. This is a better view. I just wanted to show you guys. So we got everything disconnected right here. The front panel is completely disconnected. Uh, push through the cables back so they don't stop on the way. So next we're gonna be removing the AIO CPU out. Just, you know, my PC was running earlier, so it's a little hot. It's all good to go. Should remove the CPU because we want to clean it separately. Okay, so I grabbed some paper towels and I grabbed some uh, isopropyl. Oh my gosh, I dropped it in the pickaxe. Grab some isopropyl, clean the CPU with that. So what we're gonna do next is carefully remove the CPU. Obviously you have, might have to clean your hands after because there's easiest way to clean this is with just isopropyl on your hand. All right, so what we're gonna do is just carefully obviously remove the excess uh, thermal paste that's on there. Obviously I have way too much on it. I put apparently way too much on my C CPU last time, which kind of sucks. I didn't realize I did that, but always be careful what you're putting on. I'm just gonna like clean off most of it with paper towel and then just put some isopropyl to get the rest off. Uh, but I'm gonna put some uh, isopropyl. Yes, I'm dumping it in front of my PC. Not a great idea, but that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna lay it on my hand and do this not like too hard. I don't wanna you know, bend any pins or anything because it's a Ryzen CPU, so the bends are going down the pins not the bins i don't know what bins mean clear shot cpu is clean i'm not what i'm going to do now is i don't want to mess with this cpu i don't want to put it anywhere else i'm just going to actually pop it back in because i want to be using it drop the cpu back in corner to corner like it was and then just lock it in so the pins are protected we don't want to mess with this we're just gonna leave it in here next what i'm going to be doing is removing the brackets that came with my old uh, aio that way uh, we're ready for mounting the new AIO. So remove this, keep it somewhere safe so you can actually reuse your AIO somewhere else if you want to. The next thing that I'm gonna be doing is pretty simple. I'm gonna be taking all the screws off of the motherboard uh, over here. So all the screws are off. We're gonna be taking the motherboard next out. I wanna break this motherboard. All right, MOBO is out perfectly. We're gonna put this to the side and actually prepare the other case for installation for this guy. Now that for real done with this case, let's put it to the side and start uh, preparing the other one for the stuff to go in there. Let's put this to the side and bring the new case up and we can talk about what we're gonna do. All right, come here, baby. Big, big boy. I'm gonna call this big boy. Big boy kahuna. Okay, so now that we have the case up here, we're gonna actually prepare this case for everything to go in it. What we're gonna do is, my hope is to keep the fans that came included with the case in here, just not showing them because I don't want this black to show through, obviously, but I want the white fans to be showing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this 140 to the front, to the bottom. So I'm gonna put three over here. Then we're gonna put the AIO in the front and we're gonna put the uh, white full ones that we got as pole, so it's gonna be pull, pull. Uh, so we're gonna be pulling air from here, and we're gonna have three up top, they're gonna to be pushed, they're gonna be pushing air out from here, and then one gonna be pushing out here. So seven fans are white, three are black, 10 fans total. I think we can do it, we can pull it off, we're gonna have 10 fans in this PC, it's gonna be super quiet, and it's gonna also be very uh, cool, obviously. So without further ado, let's get started, get all the fans uh, that we need installed. First thing first is move this one to the back, let's do that. One really cool thing about this case, you can remove these two screws and this grill comes off, and you can actually just like install the fans on it and put it back on. So that's pretty cool in my opinion. Pull this off and just like that, you have this grill on ready to be uh, ready, ready for the fans to go on it. So. Okay, so the AIO is installed right here. Put all the fans in the front right here too. So we have three 140 fans and three 120 fans. Now we're gonna install the rest of the fans in the top and the back, put the power supply in and do some cable management. So let's do that. All right, we have all three fans right here, three fans at the top and one in the back. So 10 fans total, there's three on the other side too. So that is pretty dope. Next, we're gonna put this 1000 power supply in there. So this is an 80 plus gold, 1000 wattage power supply, fully modular. Isn't that neat? Power supply, 
Pretty cool. So this cover comes off yeah, here. You guys see that? Basically the power supply slides in, this cover goes on top of it and that's that's all you need. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug all the cables in right now and then we're gonna put it in. What we're gonna do next is I'm gonna basically route all the cables in the back. So I'll be back in like two minutes after I've routed everything. Okay, so we're ready now to actually put the motherboard in and all the cables are routed through. We just need to put it in and then do some cable management. Let's flip the PC on its side and uh, put the motherboard in. Why don't we do that? Hopefully that goes well. Let's see that. So we got one, two, three. It looks like all the standoffs that we need are in here already. So all we need is just to actually put the mobile in and screw it in, move all the cables out of the way. Cool, we are good to go, put the mobile in. I'm gonna put my shoes on so I don't get some static in here. Uh, align the motherboard and put it into here. This is the best part of all parts, obviously, because it never goes right. I'm just kidding. Very, very assuring. Watching a YouTube guy doesn't know how to put mobile in. Everything's looking good. Here we go. You hear that click? That's the Gucci click is what we call it. How did I manage to lose the screws I just found? Let's finish uh, screwing in the mobile. Look, I even have a, a be quiet screwdriver that I got from them, like from previous AIO and <laughs> I've been using it this whole build. Pretty cool um, screwdriver because it's pretty long. Okay, and the last screw. Perfect. Now we'll start wiring stuff up to this mobile. Four pin in this ugly old cable of usb3 that i hate so much i love how big this case is because it makes it working in it it's so easy like i haven't had any issues with my hand okay m.2 is in this bad boy is gonna go behind and under let's throw some thermal paste on the cpu thermal paste to right dead end of center all of it obviously you gotta peel the sticker yeah. The screwdriver ready. We are gonna line the crap out of it and screw it in, baby. AIO is in. I really like this AIO, it's pretty clean, I think, in my opinion. Okay guys, so the motherboard is ready, everything's connected, the fans are all routed to the back, uh, the front panel and all the audio and RGB is connected right down here. What we're gonna do next is I'm actually gonna vertically mount the GPU here and then we're gonna do some cable management. That's the final thing and then we're ready to go. This PC is looking sick. Let's go ahead and install the GPU in here and see how it looks. So now we have the bottom covered, super nice. I like that a lot. I so Easy DIY actually sent me uh, a cable extension thing that you can just use, use to vertically mount your GPU. This case did not come with one, so that's the thing. First, we disconnect the back uh, shields for the vertical version, because I think vertical would look better in this case because it's so big. Then we grab the GPU. Technically, I can just do this. It's mounted. I don't even I don't know if I need anything else, to be honest. Yeah, extension thing off because I don't really need it. Sorry about this incredible quality of a video. I'm like down here on the ground <laughs> installing GPUs. The idea is not to have it sagging, though. We don't want that either. It's swinging a bunch, but I think it's fine. Okay, here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to find something just tall enough to support the GPU. The last item is this ARGB light right here. And so last part is cable management, which is the worst part. So I'm gonna turn the PC around and do a quick time lapse of me doing this, okay? I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so uh, cable management is all right. It's medium, it's not great. Keep in mind there's 10 fans. So we're gonna put the uh, side panel on, close it off just because I don't wanna look at this ugly cable spots and that looks better. So now let's uh, turn around, uh, close it up and turn it on see if that works. I'm gonna put the mesh front on because that's the one I like a lot. Uh, one, two and three. Oh, <gasps> it still works. I didn't break the crap out of it and let's see if it posts. Oh my gosh, this PC is so quiet. I thought I didn't even turn on, but it did. It's just super quiet. It posted. Holy crap, these fans. Dude, I can't hear them. Okay, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this mic in here and see tell you, to show you guys how quiet they are. All right, guys, so the PC is fully built. This is it right here. I am a huge fan. I think it looks incredible. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions down below in the comments. What do you guys think of this process? What do you guys think of these products? I think overall, Be Quiet makes phenomenal products, really good fans. I've used their fans before in different builds, but this time, all the fans are from them. We got 10 of them. We got three in the front, three on the AIO, three at the top, and one in the back. 
Uh, and with 10 fans going on, I have no filters on my microphone right now, and you cannot probably hear the PC. Or maybe you can, I don't know. But it's way quieter than I used to be with my previous PC, which is something that I am very excited for because I can make YouTube videos and TikTok videos without my PC having to be like obnoxiously loud in the background. But thank you guys so much for watching. And obviously, thank you, Be Quiet, for sending all these products to make this happen. Uh, and now I get to enjoy this PC and play video games on it. So yeah, that is it. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.